Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to the sports segment here on Midday Life. My name is Jule Bewa. Very topical issue here. Kumasi Asantikotko being knocked out by BYC Baraki Young Controllers of Liberia in the CAF Champions League. And it's a source of a worry to so many um, people in Ghana, especially when defending champions can't even go through to the next stage. I've been joined in the studio by Norbert Kwanchu, who um, is part of the Circles um, team. Norbert, you're welcome to the studio. Thank you. And also, Jerome Ocho, who writes for Kotoko Express, and also part of the PR team of Kumasi Santa Kotoko, if I'm correct. Yeah. Okay, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Jerome, what happened in Liberia? We lost, and that is it. You see, this is a competition where goals matter. If you play the first league and you lose, you win by a narrow margin, and the opponent is able to score, uh, I mean, away, and gets only a goal in our situation where we won 2-1 all they needed to do was to score a goal and that was what they did i think that uh, it's not something some of us expected i didn't believe that we would get knocked out at this stage but this is football sometimes when you are not well organized when you don't do things the way you should do even smaller teams i mean so-called smaller teams can beat i mean the bigger ones and that is exactly what happened. No, but from the fans' perspective, um, what, what do you think went wrong, or what is the problem? Because definitely, the issues looks like it's even bigger than just field problems that in Kumasa Santa Cotico. Thank you, um, Juliet. Just like Jerome said, I think preparation-wise, everything was poorly planned, and um, I think um, we lost the match in Kumasi. Because uh, in the first leg, uh, we're supposed we I for instance I I thought we were going to win by a larger or I should say a wider mar margin, but unfortunately we won by two goals to one, and I knew very well it was going to be very difficult in Morovia, and exactly so it happened. Um, on the side of the uh, fans, um, I know people are very down, and all that I can tell them is all hopes are not lost. <coughs> He who fights and run away leaves to fight another day will come back strongly. All that we need to do is to plan and plan well. I think the structures in the club are not working properly. And it's about time we set up. If we want to go to Africa and do well, then I think the board management should set up. They should set up because things are not being done right. And I don't know, but I think before the season ends, um, with the National Circus Council, we'll meet, we'll meet the board and let the board know that the earlier they come up with modalities for a substantive CEO for the club, the better. Okay. If not, those problems will keep occurring. <laughs> And uh, it's very sad. It's very, very sad. Yeah, I know um, so many of the fans are not happy. But Jerome, during Max Ocnedo's tenure, he kept encouraging the young ones, even from the youth side and also academy players, to come on board and play for Kumasi Asantikotko. And they were playing for the coach. But now I think there's been power shifting in Kumasi Asantikotko. And now all you see is signing in the name of experienced players, but signing retired, almost retired players to the club. Well, I don't think that really is the problem. In as much as I agree with you that we cannot be signing players who are virtually out and expect to get the same results that we we'll get from the young ones. The the BYC team was was a youthful side. I mean, they, they are a youthful side. Average, it's it's about 20, 23 or twenty four years, and you can't get players at that level competing the same as those who are. 30 plus will do. But I, I do not see the problem at Kotoko or why we are exiting, uh, I mean, Africa all the time as something to do with the players. Like Norbert said, it has to do with the structures. I keep saying that if you want to compete with Alali, you must do things as Alali are doing. We are here. We, we, we always go to Africa. At least we've gone twice. Yeah. We wait till the competition is close before we set up a committee but to manage affairs of, 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 of the club but regarding there Africa. But reports that your players are not getting their salaries and also recent reports that um, your goalkeeper, Slima 
to bribe. No, I don't know I, how far I, that I, is true. I, I completely dismiss that allegation. I do not think that any of the media houses peddling that falsehood can justify it. None of them can, can, can come out boldly and say, this is what happened, and Sulama took this, or Sulama did this. It's wrong. The problem with Kotoko is that we are not doing the things we are supposed to do as a big club. And that is why we go out there, and those smaller, so-called smaller clubs who are better organized than we are, will always beat us. Bejaya, JSM Bejaya beat, beat Kotoko last season. Yeah. Are they better than Kotoko? They are not. In terms of pedigree, even in terms of player quality, they are not. But they are so organized that they get things done so easily. And when you are better organized, there is no position you cannot face. So, Norbert, are you calling for change in management or just the structures? I think the stretches will do. Um, I, for one, um, I'm one person who always said uh, Dr. Sapon's administration was the best thing that ever happened to Kotoko. And I'll, I, I'll keep saying it. Maybe he had his own shortcomings. He's a human being, you understand. Um, he had a strategic plan, and I think we should go back to that strategic plan and implement it. Use it as a blueprint, and I think to help us a lot because. Um, the way things are going, if we don't set up, I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay, so yeah. you're, you're still maintaining Didi Dramani? I think so. I mean, he's the best coach in the country at the moment. And this, this is something that has happened not as a result of a coach's performance or a player's, uh, I mean, players' non-performance. It has to do with how we are planning. You can't go into Africa the way we go. And it's, it's something we must get clear and try and look at what we are not doing right, correct it. Next time, if we are able to win the league here, we'll go and do things the way we should, we should do them and not just anyhow and expect the same results. No. Reports say he's joining Hartu by the end of the season. Well, I, I, I can't confirm that. I can also okay. not deny that. But what I know is that he's Kotoko's coach at the moment. At the moment, he's yeah, Kotoko's yes, he Thank is. you, gentlemen, mm -hmm. for joining me. I've been speaking to Jerome Mochi, who is a member of Kotoko's PR team, as well as Norbert Kwanche, who also forms part of the circle. That's Kotoko's circle, the fans' union. And moving on to other stories now, and Black Stars made for the Kojo Asama scored his first goal of the season to help Juventus win 3-1 over Kievo Verona on Saturday, as well as defender Harrison Afo also getting his his goal over the weekend. 